Hello there and welcome. In this episode, we are looking at the best cleanup crew you can get for your cold water or temperate aquarium. Now, there is a huge lack of variety in the temperate and cold water fish keeping sea. Most of the time when you go to an aquarium store, all you're gonna find is the common plec to keep your aquarium clean. However, there are other options. Let's start with my most favorite cold water cleanup crew fish, and that is the gold ring hill stream loach. There are a few different species of this available on the market, but this is probably the most common, and they are incredibly attractive. They're from very, very fast running cold water rivers and streams and require quite a decent amount of oxygen, so an air pump in your aquarium is necessary. However, they're fantastic at eating algae, but they are not cheap. Expect to pay about £10 for one of these, but they're well worth that price. Very intricately detailed fish, very active, and one that is gonna be a highlight of your aquarium. Another plec for your cold water or temperate aquarium is the bulldog plec, or otherwise known as the rubber lip plec, for obvious reasons. The bulldog plec isn't particularly uncommon in the aquarium market. It's in the genus Ketostoma and is often sold as a tropical plec, but is well suited for your temperate aquarium. They can grow fairly large at around five to six inches, so not suitable for really small tanks. But if you've got at least a 100 litre tank, one of these in there will do a fine job. Another option for your temperate aquarium are Corydoras. Some of the more common ones will go quite happily in a temperate aquarium. My favorite of these is the peppered cory. Now this is the little speckly one here. They're peppered corys. They don't eat algae, but they will help to keep the bottom of your aquarium clean by removing any uneaten food from the aquarium. All corys, even temperate ones, are shoaling fish. So if you do buy them, please make sure you get a minimum of four, just so they have a bit of company. Now let's have a little discussion about snails. Lots of people like snails and they do find their way into cold water aquariums very frequently because they are excellent cleaners of algae. However, you can see what happens when they get out of control. These are a very common snail called ram's horn snails, very tolerant of cold water environments and an excellent addition to a cold water aquarium. However, they do breed prolifically. So although snails are excellent, be aware that they can breed and get out of control. There are other species of snails which are a bit more suitable for a cold water aquarium, like nerite snails, and they don't tend to breed quite so prolifically. Here are some nerite snails, just so you can see what they look like. There are a few different species of nerite snails. Uh, most of them are very attractive, but all of them will be fairly happy in a temperate slash cold water aquarium. And they do an excellent job of cleaning up that unwanted algae. So my final recommendation for your cleanup crew are Amano shrimps. You can just about see them on this piece of artificial plant here. They're the really see-through and quite small shrimps, but they are excellent in cold water and temperate aquariums. You need quite a few of them to actually make an impact on your algae. However, they are non-aggressive and you can have quite a few of them in even small tanks because their bio load is quite low. Up. Amano shrimps will spend all day going through every part of your aquarium, finding little scraps of algae, and will also remove uneaten food that's left over by your other fish. These are probably the most excellent addition to any aquarium, but you have to be aware that many fish will see these as food. So make sure when you add them, you add them to aquariums while your fish are quite small. Before I end the video, I want to have a word with you about commonplex. Now, commonplex are what are going to be thrown at you when you go into a fish shop and say, can I have a cold water cleanup crew fish, please? I want it to eat algae. And they're going to throw one of these at you. And they're commonplex. When you see them in the shop, they're probably going to be around an inch to two inches long. They're going to look cute and they're going to be on the glass eating algae, doing everything you could possibly want 
in your cold water aquarium. But look at this monster. That one is around eight inches long and doesn't particularly eat a lot of algae anymore, just spends his whole day pooing and creating waste. These are not a good fish for your cold water aquarium. Unless you have a six foot or bigger aquarium, they're not ideal for your needs. Now this Oscar needs to move out of the way kindly so I can continue this video. Thank you. Please do not buy a common plec. We get so many of these as rescues brought in to us by people who were missold them. Just not worth it. Go through this video and look at the fish I've recommended and buy one of those instead. So, thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thank you for watching and happy fish keeping.